Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Now lately I've been diving into some 10 years later runs, and it's taken me to my favourite Project Zomboid modded map, Raven Creek. The combination of the two mods has been absolutely fantastic, so in a stream recently, a friend of mine, Yake, joined me on a bit of a challenge that we set ourselves. We decided that we were going to start in Raven Creek and attempt to escape the city. No power, no water, scarce loot, and vehicles that were in much worse condition than normal. During that stream we did all of the prep work necessary from gathering equipment to remove the obstacles in our way to stocking up on ammunition and acquiring a working vehicle and all that was left was to escape and that is where our story starts in this video this was our escape from raven creek mp5 is not a bad weapon choice too because um it has the flashlight built in um is that big one up? it's only client side but like if we but having to go yeah. through the tunnel to leave Raven Creek, then I mean... There's a pretty big group up there. What's that? Above us? 15, maybe. Shit, okay, that's annoying, because you see that little, like, park on the left? That's where the propane canisters are going to be. Worst case scenario, I mean, we could pull the trigger, but I kind of want to save as much ammo as possible. There on our left. There's the propane tank. I've already removed it from the barbecue, clearly. Okay, here we go. Let's... It's just, just gone, like, flailing over the fence. Aren't you? Crowbar, weapon of champions, dude. Yeah, this hey, is a little. Up, yeah, up, yeah, yeah. Up. I need to run. Ugh. I might yeah, need to pull the we trigger can take here. Take him in the open. We can, we can take him into the open and fight him that way, I think. Okay. That's a lot of them, dude. I don't know if we'll be able to melee all of those. Yes, okay. I'm gonna switch to the shot. Just, yeah. Just do it. I am gonna try and conserve where I can, so we'll try and just like fight some of these ones. Watch your back behind you. Oh, thank you. I'm jumping the fence, so I can reload. Do I talk behind you again? Ooh. Oh fuck. I didn't grab any of the shells. I'm looping back around. Okay, got a box. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine for now. It's crazy how effective the shotgun is. Like, I don't think there's any be weapon better than it in Zomboid. Like, yeah, it's loud, but the clearing just multiple yeah. groups. I don't even think it beats the automatics. We've got some water in the back, right? If we need it. I am good to go, I think. How's, how are we looking on gas? Let's have a look. Okay, not great. Not oh, you great. Wanna... Keep looking. Or... I'm gonna grab this gas can. I don't think we have a generator, so we wouldn't be able to like power a gas station or anything. There is just like the odd vehicle around that we can take some fuel from. Then great. If not, I mean, we'll just have to make do. Oh, there's a gigamart here. Oh shit, really? We've been living right next door to a Gigamart this whole time? Apparently. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's a quite a big cluster of them right outside the back door. And it looks like they might have gotten in too. I'm coming in. Lots of gardening stuff, which is... Would have been nice. Yeah, I'm gonna check over here in the bridge section. Margarine and lard, huh? They changed melted ice cream. Melted ice cream doesn't um, increase unhappiness now. 
Okay. It removes Good. tenon happiness unless it's unless it's bugged. It doesn't I mean, seem to be. I'd still be happy to find even melted. Well, yeah, that's that's what I already said. So I'm I'm glad that that's been changed. We may wish to go. There's some that yeah, are like I'm outside on the left. I've lost all this. Got a decent amount of food. Running back. I, I did aggro. This, a few this has one out of twelve gas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen. It's something, dude. Where are it's you? Something. I'm coming. Give me that. One out of twelve fuel. Amazing. All right. So, I need to work out where we're going. I think I know roughly which direction we want to go. But yeah. Oh, I found one with a lot of gas, dude. Oh yeah. I got a full tank. Further down that road. Okay. Uh, is it safe for me to drive down to you, do you think? Maybe. I'm clearing up the small group that's next to it. Oh, I'll come down. Yeah, almost a full tank of gas in it. Where are you? You drove past me. Oh, you drove past me. That explains a lot. Just have to. Oh, God. You know. oh, that was close. Just two coming in at. Uh right at the same time as each other. Oh yeah. That's a that's a full can of gas right there at least. I would be able to get multiple. I think we got it all then. Yep. Jump in. Okay. Um we may wish to consider jumping out here. But a lot of cars in the way and I don't think we can clear a path through all that. I ran up the other way the opposite direction because we were sort of stuck. I got quite a lot by me. I gotta grab some more ammo out of the truck. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yep. Oh, got a box, that'll do. I'm gonna try and lure this group away a little bit. I think I'm coming towards you. Yep. Hello. So there's a big group on the other side of this laundromat. Yeah, I always thought you had to hold R to unjam, but it turns out you can press X, and I did not know that. I'm gonna try and just melee some of them. Actually, knocking so many of these over, holy crap. Yeah, well, that's it. If you get lucky, then yeah. I've got most of mine. I'm going to try and come in behind with your hand. That would be great. Not really staggered, which is my problem here. Nice. Good job. Okay. A few over on the left there that must have come oh, in from left. the other side. Came out from behind that fence. We should be able to get through this area by driving as long as the zombies are out of the way. It'll be, um, there'll be like some cars in the actual checkpoint itself that we'll need to... Um, I think I might just have to like drop the propane tank somewhere around here. These vehicles are gonna have to go. We've just gotta pick the path of least resistance, I think. You just check all the way around. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm down to uh, clear out this building and stuff first anyway. Just need to make sure I can actually get the car all the way through. Ooh, wow, okay. Uh, we got a bit of a bigger group up here. These watch posts should have a little bit of ammo in too. Might not be much, but... Check in here, see if there's any ammo. Uh, several melee weapons, no, no ammo. Got a few like hammers and stuff like that. I think the next section we might actually be able to cheese a little bit with the sledgehammer. Um, if you come through to the other side of the gate, on the right there's like a small concrete wall. Might actually be able to just smash a hole through that rather than disassembling one or two of those vehicles. Jumping in the truck now. 
there are some zombies, so hopefully don't end up pulling a bunch with me. Some coming up to the roadblock. I'm not sure if they'll follow me all the way through, but... Now we... We might end yeah, up, like, having a couple of them come, like, all the way round, because, like, if they're in the trees here and they hear the engine... Yeah. This one needs to be moved. Do you want to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, this one. You should get rid of this one. It'll probably squeeze through the yeah, yeah. cab. Another full gas tank almost up here in this vehicle when we get through. Yes. Okay, I'm all the way down at the tunnel. Really? Okay. Now, I think with the tunnel, Flashing. we'll have yeah. to use the sledgehammer to destroy some of the barricade, right? Possibly. Because there's like that big Hesco wall inside the tunnel. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad. Escaping Raven Creek in a FedEx van. Okay, so this needs to go. Can we get through here? Yeah, so some of these just need moving, I think. Disassemble. Seem to uh, smash these couple Hesco blocks, maybe. Yake smash. Yake smash. There are some that have come to the fence from outside. There's like four or five of them built up just in the corner here. But they're just stuck there, not doing anything. A few soldiers down this tunnel, one's got a gun. Okay. I'll be able to get a combat rig. Nice. Guys, and both of these guys have rigs, I think. Yeah, that one. Last guy oh, they there. broke the door. There's three or four coming in from behind us. Okay. When did this close? Red, just... eight things. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, no, he is a clown. What is this guy? Oh, is that the one from The Walking Dead? I... <laughs> you know, you know which one I mean? I bet it is. Hey. It is. Yeah, it's Winslow. Yeah. You can actually wear his helmet too, that's so cool. <laughs> this guy's name is Wrinkles the Clown. Oh no. I can hear a door being broken. Uh oh. It collapsed, I heard that. Yep. Here they come. You could probably shoot if you wanted to, to be honest. Be alright for now. That guy's just walking off. Get out of here, dude. I'm bringing the car through. Oh, this uh, gives me anxiety. This thin hallway. Yeah, <laughs> okay, there's a bit of work to be done here. This is the Hesco wall. I want to smash this fence so that they can get through, and then we're gonna to have to fight them. Oh, can you hear some? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna to have to. I'm gonna have to shoot. We shoot through? Can, but I can't hit the one who's right in front. I Oh, did you hear that? That was cool. That sounded so cool. I love I really this one. He made them through. I don't think I've seen any mod that takes into account this kind of like echo with weapons. So just as a bit of a shout out, uh, the weapons mod we're using is the uh, Ex uh, vanilla Weapons Expanded, or Vanilla Weapons Expansion, uh, by Stendo Clip. Uh, oh, I got one following up behind me. Okay, I think this is where we're going to have to start to go loud. There's a lot of them over here. Freedom! We're almost through, though. Yeah. You've got, like, what? This big bit in front of us up here, and then... I think oh, a, there's the a camp hole on the, the other side. Oh, really? On either side, it's been like, you know, it's oh, been yeah. exploded or. A fire? I can try and conserve where I can, so I'll probably try and take out the last couple without using my gun. I'm gonna. Go back and grab the truck if you want to clear on a little bit. 
Yep. Reloading. Nice. <laughs> Such a loud noise. I the bat's like all bloodied now. <laughs> Looks like a decent weapon. Yeah, it's not too bad, yeah. There is a group up ahead, so I'm gonna pull up up ahead here. I jump, there's no holes here, there's like four or five groups. Yeah, I'm oh, hoping they oh won't. Oh my god, oh my god. All right, okay. I'm hoping they won't have the smarts to go up the other end. Going up the other end? Can't really tell. Okay. Just crowding around on the outsides. Look at them. Jesus. Very, very happy that there wasn't any holes down here in the wall. God. Yeah, that's uh, quite a lot. So ominous. Alright, we're reaching the gate. I'm gonna put my bat away and I'm gonna get the M14 out. Okay. Or oh, the M Mini 14, rather. Get ready for a big fight because I can see the locks on the other side of that gate. Oh, my guy's panicking. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> the fuck, man? Get me out of here! Taking some uh, beta blockers, I think. Yeah, I can see a lot of zombies on the other side there. Holy shit. This is the last hurdle, though. Last part there of uh, some on our side, yeah. Last part of the escape from Raven, I think. So what, you find us just blitz through? Well, I was thinking that, but it's going to take us too long to create like enough of a gap in the defenses here. They'll start pouring in before we can. Yeah. Um. So we'll have to kill some of them, at least. I was thinking about maybe trying to get like the car. Oh my god. Oh. Where are they going? <laughs> so smash a hole over here. Do that. Another now they're all coming. I think we're gonna have to... No, I, I want the hole like over here so I can get the vehicle through. Oh my god. This is a big old clown. Do you want to bring the truck up? I'll keep clearing. And then, I mean, we'll have to make a hole in this wall at some point. So. What we could do, like, thinking about it. This, this is a risk, right? But if we make a hole in the wall. Firstly, big enough for me to get through. Right? And I'll try and draw these guys away. So that you can build a big enough hole in the wall to get the truck through. On that corner. Right? And if we can do that, then we can leave. Um, the first okay. things first, we're going to have to make a hole for me to get through here. Right? So that I can start pulling them away. And then you just run you back to the truck, three, right? Three, two, one, go. Yep. Go, go, go. Go back to the truck. Oi! <laughs> hey! Assholes! I think they're still coming to me. Oh shit, yeah. On my way. Okay, they're coming. Some of them are. Coming yeah, to me take a minute, you can. I'll, I'll kill what follows. Slowly heading back to the gate. I'm trying to pull them all away from, like, the road. There's, yeah, there's not many at the gate right now, so I'm just going to clear the ones that are here. Okay. I'm not in any immediate danger right now. Well, I mean, yeah. he says that watch. as he's leading a fucking <laughs> horde of zombies around, but I'm all right just, for now. <laughs> just watch you don't get tired. It's really stupid. Yeah. Can I'm... you see the other gate is open? Have a look. Oh, it is. Hang on. It... Yes, we could definitely get the vehicle through there. No problem. Okay. I'm going to have to do like, a quick pickup. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Okay. Gaze right. down. Okay. Now should be a good time, actually, to bring the car through, I think. You just tell me Sorry. when you're on the way through, alright? I'm just about to pass the open gate here now. Okay, I'm running down. <laughs> Up into the road. If I need to do another loop. Alright, go. Get through the gate. I'll, uh... <gasps> Careful. There's a, yeah, there's a barricade right there, that's all. Oh, <laughs> yike. Okay, okay. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go! Yes! We made it! <laughs> Goodbye, Raven Creek. Hell yeah, dude. That's the end of the challenge. Um, just for, for anybody that's watching this and has enjoyed it, um, we are running a mod collection um, that's focused around making the game more difficult. Um, primarily the 10 years later mod, uh, which is why there's all this overgrown foliage and stuff everywhere. Um, and we're going to be running this mod set on our Patreon server as of Sunday the 3rd uh, for the next uh, month. So uh, when you get around to watching this, the wipe is probably already ongoing. Uh, but if you want to come and join us, uh, there will be a link to the Patreon in the description. And, uh, alright, glad, glad, glad we made it out alive, and I hope you enjoyed the challenge. See you soon.